All right, y'all, welcome back to Rooster Crow and TV, man. It's been a minute, but we back. Hey, check this out. Keep in mind, it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. And I'll even be fair and do the same thing in price match if you hit that like button right now. You feel me? All right. Hey, guys, before we get into this video, though, man, let's all keep in mind, man. Let's pray for uh, Colorado. And let's just pray for, you know, Atlanta. You know what I mean? Those are the places where those the two big mass shootings just happened you know let's pray for them but um yeah man um out there in colorado man it's it's, it's crazy and they actually hit me that you know while talking to uh, somebody who live out there that you know colorado is the home of uh columbine and you know that was like one of the craziest mass shootings in american school histories man like you know and the effect of that of columbine is still messing with people over there you know, in Colorado, and um, I'm also hearing that, you know, like the mental health state, it's not, it's not really the best because those things are like, they happen often, you feel me? So man, keep Colorado in mind, let's pray for them. But yeah, man, we got this one coming out of, uh, it's coming out of GA, man. Father versus son, father versus son. So this is Mario Paul Clark, dude, 26 years old, whatever it is. Now I mean, they're over there in La Grange, whatever. Now I mean, Georgia. So this happened on Friday, right? Um, so this happened on Friday, right? All right. So there was like a disagreement that started between the father and the son. You know, they ain't really get like a backstory as to what it was over, but there was a disagreement. And um, the father noticed that the son was carrying a firearm, you know, a gun. He could see the print. And um, the father told the son to hand over the gun, you know. But, um, of course, his son refused. And instead, he didn't just refuse, but he pulled the gun on his dad. You feel me? So his dad went upstairs, you know, to his bedroom, grabbed his own gun, and he chased the son out of the house, you know. And um, some of the confrontation was caught on tape. You know, we're going to run through that right now. But, yo, we live in crazy times, man. Father and son having a full-blown shootout in broad daylight. Over what? You know, what do you think led to this? I'm not sure if the guy still lives at home with his dad or whatever it is. Possibly. You know what I mean? I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to carry a gun. You know? Did the dad ever threaten him? Is that why he went and got a gun? We don't know. We got to look at this from both sides, from both angles. You know what I mean? Because something happened for him to feel like he need to go and get a firearm. You know, so we can't just point fingers at him and be like, oh, man, you out here shooting at your dad, this and that. Nah, man, something must have happened, you know, for him to get for him to go get a firearm, you know. And it's just crazy that your dad, you know, asked you for the gun. I get it, man. But keep in mind, we live in crazy times right now, bro. This is not like 10 years ago, man. This is not like... 15 years ago man it's, it's not even like five years ago really you know a lot of random crazy stuff just happens like out of nowhere it's almost like there's something in the air you know what i mean <sighs> yo let's watch this video chop it up no sound i don't think Look at this guy. Like, they were really, really trying to take each other out. He was really, really aiming for his dad. Like, no joke, he was aiming for his dad. You feel me? And like I said, man, something more had to have taken place. Why does this man feel like he need a gun? I mean, well, 
a stupid question. Nowadays, we all need one. But why specifically at home around your dad? You know? And then why when the father asked him, like, yo, hand the gun over, did you think your dad was going to shoot you? Is that why you pulled the gun on him instead? Or are there some drugs that play here? You know? And no sound just makes it, makes it all that. <laughs> it makes it that much worse because usually when people are talking in the background, you can kind of put one and one together, but no sound. This dude is really, really trying to hit his dad, and dad is really, really trying to hit him. I mean, at first you can see the dad doing that scary shit, you know. Shit, but it's bullets, man. So you can't, you can't really say the man doing some scary shit, man. But, uh, uh-oh, oh, no luck. So you see dad run at him right here. I guess this is the dad chasing him outside of the house. Like from inside. So he retreats. I guess the son started busting back. I don't know who shot first. I can't. The dad. You think the dad shot first while he was chasing the son? Or the son actually shot first? Maybe the son shot first when it. Because the dad was pointing the gun. And the dad just started returning the fire. But it's hard to tell man. You know. But. We live in crazy times, man. Like, it should never get to this level with family. You know, it shouldn't have to get to this level with family. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is it's, it's crazy. Man, after this pandemic with people just being isolated for so long, like I said, you never know the state of mind that somebody is in, man. Just look around us and see what's going on. It, it's not normal. You feel me? It is not normal. Look at this guy. He's right behind the car. Like, swap right behind the car. He's he's taking aim. You know what I mean? He's trying to make sure he doesn't miss. Like, what could have happened? <laughs> Yo. We we got a few videos on here with, uh, you know, kids killing, like, their parents, they they moms, and things like that. You know? And like I said, like, this is all disturbing i just don't know what's going on this day and time to make you know father and son want to take each other out and it's 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 becoming too common you know it's it's another video out here with a you know a, a son that shot a dad that was putting hands on his brother you know it happens way too often guys all we can do i'm always tell you guys man stay prayed up Stay prayed up because it is not by your own judgment that you go out every day and you come back in in one piece. It is not, man. The most high is watching all of us, you know. We can all be in the wrong place at the wrong time at any time, you know. So stay prayed up, man. You know, these kind of things are just like America's new normal, man. I, I keep telling y'all that. This is like America's new normal, man. It's fucked up. It shouldn't have to be like that, but that's just what it is, you know. Yo, y'all stay prayed up, man. Watch your surroundings, you know. <laughs> like I said, I, I know we're going to get more, you know. We don't even know who shot the first shot on this one. I'm leaning towards the son because I'm just going to say the dad chased him out, out the house, you know. But I don't think, I can't say I don't think the dad would shoot, but I, I say the son probably bust the first shot, you know what I mean. But that's just my take, man. What y'all think about this shit, man? And um, guys, like I said, I don't really care how many of y'all watch this video, but whoever watched this video, man, keep Colorado in your prayers, keep Atlanta in your prayers, yo, keep the Amer keep the whole U.S. in your prayers, man. You know, I mean, instead of being the greatest country in the world, we're not leading by examples. We're going backwards, man. We're just a pretty ass third world country, and we're all just, you know, it's like it seems like we all just gun token motherfuckers. You feel me? The only thing that we value. In America, it's, it seems like it's it's not even human life, bro. It's the right to own a gun, you know? And it's sickening, bro. It's sickening. That being said, man, let this video play out, y'all. Till next time. You heard me.